I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for you the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance, but I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later. In the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. I would do it differently if I could. You lied to her about who you really are. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I'm sorry! I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, 
I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? So scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk. Okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. way out. Through there. Leads to the other room. 
There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Which way out? Through there. Savannah. You might want to pinch your nose. They smell horrible. Which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. As soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe.
Lee, wake up! Please don't be dead. Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! Got away. Never. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> See? Lemon time, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. There's a chair over there. 
There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shadow that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Don't be scared of the water. You'll be fine. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock.
You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You can leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please. It's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. Save the bullet. I'm not going anywhere. You have to always think about what you might need later. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, we met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. I couldn't bring myself to give her the gun. I didn't want to see death then and I know we've seen so much of it, but you shouldn't have to see it now. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry.
Silent sir 